Tom Gugliotta, we hardly knew you. Tom will forever be remembered for the Chris Webber deal, but then he was quickly sent to the Timberwolves. Now he seems content in Minnesota, and before the game, he sat down with Greg. Well, now that you've had an offseason to think about it, Tom, can you look back on last year and laugh a bit? I mean, playing for, for three teams that combined to lose 178 games, getting traded twice? Yeah, it's definitely been a whirlwind. You know, it was, it was a tough time in my professional career, and... Um, Something you know, obviously, you never want to go through again. But it, it was it was tough. But I think I learned from, it and I think I've come back and um, able to deal with a lot of other things. Over the summer, you had the opportunity to at least explore leaving the Minnesota Timberwolves, but you chose to resign with them a five-year contract. Why did you choose to come back? Well, I think uh, you know it's got a, a big upside. You know, with Kevin McHale having come in and a new owner, and uh, the team has a lot of talent. We just need to develop chemistry and. Uh, it's a first-class organization, and, and um, you know it's, it's an organization I feel that I'd want to play for and, and have a chance to win with them. Kevin McHale has a great line. He says, talent wins you games, but character wins you championships. Does this team have enough character to really win in this league? Well, I tell you what, we got a lot of guys that are willing to compete every night, and, and uh, it's just a matter of doing it as a team, and, and that's been the toughest part. But uh, we, have, we have a good amount of talent that, that just hasn't learned to play with one another yet consistently, and uh, that's what we're missing. But I definitely think we have character to be a real good team. What's your early take on Flip Saunders, your new coach? He's been great for us. I think uh, the biggest thing about Flip is he teaches us things that uh, I think a lot of coaches took for granted that we already knew because we were NBA players. But uh, he goes over detail of uh, offensive sets, uh, defensive rotations. Uh, he really covers detail, and that's his strength, and that's the one thing we really needed. I know Christian Leitner has grown pretty close to Kevin Garnett, kind of taking him under his wing. How much time do you spend with this kid? I spend as much time as I can. Uh, I think everyone kind of chips in because, uh, you know, he, he does have kind of a, a lonely life on the road. Um, uh, although he chooses to be by himself quite a bit. Uh, he's a terrific person. He's fun to be with. And uh, he's going to be a great talent in this league. And I think everyone's really you know, chipped in to help him out a little bit, make sure he's doing okay. You know, Tom, earlier I asked you about last season as a whole. Tell me about the segment of games you played with the Golden State Warriors. I know it did not go nearly as well for you here as you would have liked. As you look back on your experience with the Warriors, what's the first thing you think of? I was disappointed. Um, you know, I, I really felt this was going to be a good situation for me when I first got here. Um, and I felt I could really help this team, and, and I, I looked at the talent, and um, I was thrilled to be able to be a part of such a talented team. But um, it just never got to that point to where we were clicking all together, and there was obviously a lot of off-court problems, and, and uh, it was just unfortunate. And, and it, I tried to keep a positive attitude, as I think a lot of players did, but um, you know, with each week and with each, with each month, uh, you just kept seeing the downfall. And, uh, it got really frustrating, and, and the pressure was just, you know, enormous. Yeah, it seemed to me like the shadow of Chris Webber was enormous for you, not so much from the, sta the fan standpoint, but from your teammates' standpoint. Mm -hmm. it, how, do you, how do you take that? Well, yeah, I think there was a, a lot of difficulty in accepting the trade, and, and not only my trade, the, the Billy Owens trade. It, it seemed to me that the guys were real close, and um, they were disappointed to see their buddies leave and teammates leave, and, and um, unfortunately, that's the reality of this league, and, and um, they couldn't deal with it. And, um, mm -hmm. and it affected us on the, on the field. You know, I, I never thought they took anything personally out on me. I think I, I had a good relationship with a lot of the players. And um, it just team-wise, you know, it was kind of a rebellion against uh, the management to uh, show them that they disapproved of the movement. I was talking to John Lucas the other night, and he said he thinks that every player in the NBA should be traded one time just to open up your eyes teach people that it's a business that you are a commodity mm -hmm. what have you learned about being traded not once but not twice well it, it's a traumatic experience um you know not only on the court which takes a lot of adjustment but off the court getting your life back together but uh, i think it, i think it's true uh, it definitely humbles you and uh, i guarantee you get traded once and you'll never ask to be traded uh <laughs> you know you hear a lot of guys yeah. uh, being asked to be traded now well you know the grass isn't always greener on the other side so uh, you just best advice to be thankful for what you have and try to do the job they ask you to do. That's all you can do. All right, Tom. Always good to see you. Thanks. Good luck tonight in the second half. Thanks a lot. Good to be back. Here's Terry Porter into Gugliotta. And he's fouled. Now, he talked about, about Gugliotta, actually, Jim. Remember the game he had here? The first, a, a real positive veteran influence on the times of shaky locker room. Here's Leitner over the front of that isolation here. Here's Gugliotta back into it, storming the lane and scoring on the dish off from Kevin Garnett. Minnesota 
reclaims a watch of the second quarter. Now, B.J. Armstrong is out there with Tim. Spreewald takes his first rest of the game. Gugliotta. Shot was blocked cleanly, they say, by cycling. No face up on people, like a smaller man would. And he termed his time with the Warriors frustrating. Too much on that play, though. Isaiah Ryder. A lot of other people get away with that little extra step. Gugliotta with the Warriors up two now. Looking to get a double team. Does not, so he'll go in on Joe Smith and make the fade. That's the shot in the Timberwolf club that comes in with confidence after last night out playing the Suns down the stretch in Phoenix and winning. Gugliotta in that lane a long time. We'll get a foul call. He does have an option to get out of the contract after three seasons. That seems to be coming after him. One rumor has the book lay. It just spun out for him. Leitner to Gugliotta. There they go again. Uh, is Ryder trying to make this too much of a show against Freewell, Jimmy? He's had his moments, but he's also forced some shots. Gugliotta. That time Ryder back in free throws attempted. Shot 500 for the year. Here's Gugliotta. A fade over Gantley. Well, if he would have made that shot with the Warriors, they would have never traded him. He just could not make it. We'll find out when the Warriors have the ball. Gugliotta. Right in. Scores four players with four or more and two with five. Leitner and Rooks. And they're both on the bench now. Gugliotta will be their inside guy. And Doug West got away with a push on Hardaway. Devin Garnett can get up. Defensive jump, and they didn't do that. Spreewell, two critical free throws. Breaks Minnesota 7 0 run. But they're a long way from dead. Gugliotta scores, and he is fouled. Tom Gugliotta mm -hmm. makes a beautiful move to the basket. And Wolves are down three. A minute and a half to go. Gugliotta against Joe Smith. Leitner goes through. Gugliotta wants the hook. And why not? Terry Porter, if the ball ends up in Tim's hand. Hardaway. There goes to Joe Smith. Joe's in a bad spot here. Somebody has to help him out. Joe's going to drive and lose the ball to Gugliotta. And the Warriors follow Gugliotta. Joe Smith didn't get the ball in the position where he could do anything with it. He was stuck out on there on the floor. But anyway, I just seen Gugliotta make the free throw. Put him up by two and the Warriors get a timeout and get it at half court. And that's what happens. Two-point game. Timeout Warriors. That's their last four. Here we go. 7.1 to go. The Warriors down two. Mullen to Springwell. Springwell against Mitchell. Spinning. Firing. And he ties the game with two seconds to go. Timeout, Minnesota. A guy's got to come to the ball. And that guy's late here. No pass. Who got us open? He can win the game here. Oh, they gave him a wide open look. Whoa, what was that? Gugliotta got a wide open look. And a guy that has missed two shots all night. Front Mitchell, Leitner and Gugliotta. Same five that closed the game. Open the first overtime. Leitner, Gugliotta finishes it up. We are halfway through the first overtime. Gugliotta wants it. He's got it. And he scores it. He has 33 points, Gugliotta. Mitchell inbounds. Garnett and Gugliotta are right. Porter's far left. Deep right is West. Popping up is Gugliotta. Here he goes. Kevin Garnett. Blocked. Warriors rebound. Kersey's fouled. It's not over yet, but it's... They need to steal some along the way. Up three. Minnesota can force a second overtime. But they're going to have to do it with a... A miraculous heave. Me in Chicago yes. to the NBA. Garnett's going to inbound. They're down three. They need a three to tie the game. It goes to Allen up quickly. Ooh, another shot. The rim of the game is over. Jerome Allen just snuck in there and shot the three. And rookie out of uh, Pennsylvania, Rick Allen walks off the floor with victory. And there are many reasons why. But Joe Smith made one of the most incredible plays you'll ever see to re-steal the game the Warriors felt. They have given away. In overtime, the Warriors get their fourth straight win as they beat the Timberwolves. And we're back to recap parts of it for you.